Y'all know why you're here. You saw the thumbnail. What do we got here? I think it's pretty easy to see. We got here some Klipsch speakers. These speakers have been around since 2002. They're like the standard bearers. They look good. And what's interesting about this box is it doesn't really tell you a whole bunch about it. It's like, if it ain't broke, doesn't tell you a whole lot. All it says right here is, it's the keepers of the sound. Up top you got 200 watts of adrenaline. Two horn loaded satellites and vented 6.5 subwoofers produce theater quality sound and bass. Award winning system provides new level of power and accuracy for gaming, music, and movies. Easily connects to virtually any source and includes headphone jack. Other than that, there's nothing else on the box. Keepers of the sound, cool picture on the back, nothing. And we're back to the front. So I think we just need to open it up. Ooh, here we go. Let's open this sucker up. What do we got here? Nice. Did I get it right? Nah, I missed. There we go. Oh. Smell that? That smells good. Oh, wow, nice. So this is the subwoofer. Well packaged. Uh, let's undress this baby. Ooh, shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. Ooh, look at that. Let's throw that down there. This looks nice. Got the air ventilation here. The speaker there. The back there. Pretty simple. What else they got in here? Throw that over there. Okay, let's pull this one out if I can get it out. Oh, they're making this tough for me, man. There we go. Woo, let's pull it out. So these are the speakers. So not a whole lot to it, guys. Looks good. So this is the Klipsch 2.1 Bluetooth speakers. The core has been out since 2002. They've done some updates, they iterated on it, but when you're the standard bearer, you don't need to improve that much. Apparently that's what they think. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to check this out. Because people have always been talking about these. Like these are the standard bears. And so, now the question is, can they pump the bass? Who knows? We gotta check it out. But we have a competitor. Here comes a new challenger! Look at this beast! Yo, what do we got here? We got the Razer Leviathan. There's not as many reviews about this as there is with the Klipsch. And the reason is maybe that this thing isn't that good. Or maybe it's just overly priced. It is a Razer product after all. I wanted to see whether this thing can beat the standard bear, the Klipsch. Now the Klipsch, if you remember, the box was poorly wrapped. The box doesn't have anything on it except for keepers of the sound. Now, this is being a Razer product, they gotta heavily mark it. So you got stuff like one sound to rule them all. Powered by four expertly tuned drivers. 5.1 virtual surround sound powered by Dolby virtual speakers, Dolby digital, blah, 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 blah. Direct audio streaming from any mobile device. Dedicated subwoofer for impressive bass. Space saving. Multiple connections. Adjustable tilt angles. Three preset equalizer modes. Like you need to be sold. It's a Razer product, right? One sound bar to rule them all. Lots of marketing on this box. Let's see if it holds up. We gotta tear this off. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Okay, didn't work. Let's take the knife to it. There we go. Open this up. Razer always provides you with these notes, like congratulating you on winning an epic battle. Congratulations, there's no turning back. Sound is just as important as sight in the heat of battle. Tap into an area that has long been neglected and submerge yourself in audio nirvana. We are the Cult of Razer. All right, shows you how to install it. Positioning. Power on, now you can connect it. Legit, let's take it out. What's this? So check this out. They got the little feet. So this is the sound bar. Let's pull this out. Oh, let's move this to the side, guys. Got the sound bar here, let's slip it out. Oh. 
Oh, wow. That is looking nice. It's hefty. It's got a great feel to it. Leviathan. We got little buttons here. Looks solid on top. Clean, man. Clean. Let's pull out this subwoofer. Oh, man. Oof. Is a good looking subwoofer. Huh. This out. That's the sub. Got, got the cable. So look what we have here now. We got the Razor Leviathan, we got the Klipsch 2.1 Bluetooth. What matters now? Which can pump the music? Which can pump the bass? Which can blast the eardrums out of your face? Bass. Sound. Amazing. Yeah, let's do it. Alright guys, so what we got, we got them all plugged in. We got the razor plugged in. We got it turned on. We got the clip shh. Ooh. This sounds good saying. Clip shh. We got the clip shh plugged in. It's time to battle it out. We'll see who can pump the biggest bass. Got an iPhone ready. Let's go with the uh, let's go with the new contender. Let's go with the Razer first. Let's try this out. Here we go. Round one. Fight. Ooh. Let's turn it up. sounds pretty good. I'm getting, the bass sounds really clear, but I'll tell you, this bar, when it comes to some of the mids, it, it, it's a little staticky. I don't know if that's the right word, but it doesn't come off as clear. So let's plug in the clip and see how they do. Plug it in. Oh, oh okay. Here we go. Let's start off with Vanos. Oh, oh, let's turn that up. So, this one, the mids and highs aren't as clear, but the bass is more solid. So, um, let's do a back-to-back -back with this song right here. You can really hear the difference on this one. So, listen, listen closely. Oh, the heavy bass. The heavy bass. Ooh. Turn this up. Okay, all right, let's try it again. 
unplug this sucker, plug this in here, start it over. So the mids and highs are clearer on this than this, but the bass is better on this one. I'll be honest with you guys, I'm a little, I'm a little dissatisfied with both of them. I want heavy bass, I want clear mids and highs. If I could somehow combine these two, it would be the perfect system. Let's try another song. So let's, let's do this one. <laughs> So the mids and highs are so clear here. Bass sucks. Again, the mids and the mids and highs are a little washed out here, but the bass is booming. It's like shaking the table, shaking the table. All right, let's throw this one in. Fast swap, fast swap, fast swap. Here we go. Let's do this. Oh, you can hear that, right? Okay, so you can clearly see hear the difference. Tons more bass, mids and highs a little washed out, mids and highs super clear. Maybe it's because it's concentrated in this bar, but the bass is a little lacking. So, I don't know guys, I don't know. You're gonna have to choose your weapon, figure out which one you like the most. At this point right now, like I said, I'm a little disappointed in both of them. I want the heavy bass that the Klipsch gives you. I want the clear mids and highs that the Razor and the Leviathan gives you. I don't know if I'm satisfied with either of these right now. They're kind of, they're kind of killing me. They're kind of killing me softly. I don't know guys, I don't know. I don't know if you can hear those sounds clearly enough. You let me know in the comments. You let me know which one you think is better and we'll see which one comes out on top. I'm not sure whether I wanna keep either of these. You guys know why you're here. Subscribe, give it a fat, juicy like and make sure you get your honey lemon tea.